This is the Graco Slim Fit All-in-One Car Seat, and we are going to demonstrate how to use it as a forward-facing harnessed seat. All right, this seat is going to be used forward-facing, so we need to first adjust the recline. And if you look at the labels here on the side where the red triangle is, you can see right now it's set for a rear-facing recline. We want to move it up into the orange zone, number three. And I do that by grabbing this little handle here and squeezing and then tilting the seat. Now let's see what spot we're in. We're in four, so let's adjust it back to three and hear it click. Seat now is ready to be positioned properly on the vehicle seat. And if you can, bring your tether strap forward at this point and just lay it down in the front here. Okay, okay. One other adjustment you need to make is pull the padding up from the seat. You can unsnap it and pull it back. And there's a crutch strap here. That needs to be in the slot that is correct for the child. The child should not be sitting on the crotch strap. And it's very easy to adjust it by just turning it sideways and slipping it through the, into the next path that you want. Okay, we'll grab the lap and shoulder belt and it's going to be um, sec securing the car seat through the belt path that is marked by the orange label right here. So the seat belt would be behind the child's back. We'll grab the seat belt and feed it through the belt path and then out the other side of the orange belt path, which you can easily access from the front of the seat. And then buckle. Now make sure there's no twists in the belt, in any part of the belt, the lap belt or the shoulder belt, and grab that shoulder belt portion and pull snugly on it to get any looseness out. Holding that belt where it is, pull your shoulder belt retractor all the way out from the wall. And as it retracts, you can hear the locking mechanism. So now this is a locked shoulder belt. Again, make sure there's no slack in that belt. You can feed it up into that retractor a little bit till everything is snug. And what is snug enough? You wanna grab the side of the car seat, ideally right here where the seat belt goes through it and pull on it gently. And you can see it's, the seat is not moving um, pretty much at all. It needs to move less than an inch. Then you know you have a secure installation. Tether strap use is recommended but not required for forward facing car seat use. Um, if you do have access to your tether anchor, then by all means use it. In this demo vehicle seat, the tether anchor is right here up above the vehicle seat, which would be more typical of like an SUV in the center position. So I'm going to take my tether strap and just hook it onto that and tighten it up. And tuck that behind. If you can't access your tether strap, let's say the tether anchor is down below your vehicle seat and you have a lot of equipment in the car, it's okay. The seat is approved to be used without the tether anchor. Without Next thing you want to do is put your padding back. So put the pads in, keep your straps out where you can reach them. Okay, and then this side, bring this other straps out. Okay, pull your straps off to the side a little bit and we're ready for our child. Okay, I'm gonna place my three-year-old child in the seat with her bottom at the lowest point and her back flat against the seat. I'm gonna adjust the, the shoulder part using this mechanism there. And what you wanna do is ultimately have the straps coming from, the shoulder straps here, coming out of the car seat at or above her shoulders. And so you can adjust it easily doing that. So that's at her shoulders. Now I'm gonna pull the buckles over, grab that crotch strap, and get the other strap. Buckle that side, buckle the harness clip, but keep it low, close to the buckle for now and then start to adjust. 
and I tighten the harness straps by pulling this loop, making sure everything's straight, and pulling any looseness out of the hip area and snug up. Ultimately, this chest clip needs to be at armpit height. How do we know it's tight enough on her that I cannot pinch any webbing right here? And then it's snug enough. And that's it for her. She's ready to go.